Hey guys and girls, here is your Rachel again and today I am going to continue Detective Pikachu Returns. Yes guys and girls, that game where we are currently now in Bamboo Borov, but we are not playing with Pikachu and with Tim, but with Harry, the father from Tim, and you ask yourself, how should that work? Both in the same time, in the same place? Well, we made a little trip backwards in time. Means we're in the past. Let's go. Guys and girls, our current uh, our current job is investigate the surrounding area and deduce how to move forward. Hmm. Now that I'm getting a proper look, this is quite the sight. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's much to see here, but never know till you look. I'll go ahead and inst investigate. This huge boulder must have broke apart when it fell down here. Now it's more like a cliff face. Hmm, mm, this boulder is pretty tough. I don't think it'll break apart any further. This looks like it used to be a path up the hill, but it's been completely eroded. I'm not sure if, it, if this boulder fell naturally or the berserk Pokemon knocked it loose. But either way, I'm glad no one was hurt. Okay. Mm. I think that's all there is to see here. Mm. Mm Hootoot must have seen a berserk Pokemon and flew away from it. Find a way to reach where Hootoot flew from. Okay. Okay, time to figure this thing out. Hmm. By climbing the big boulder. That would be a good thing. I see. The boulder, the boulder crushed the path leading up the hill. But the path should still continue at the top of the hill. If I, if I climb the boulder, I should be able to get to the, that path and make my way to the Berserk Pokemon. Alright! By climbing the big boulder. Okay. If I climb up the, bo or the boulder, I should find the path. Getting back down might be tough though. Uh, I'll figure that out later. Time to get climbing. All right then, just a little climb. No problem. <laughs> he says. <sighs> Too bad they don't made a mini just game a out of it. Go. Good grief. Phew, been a while since I did something like this. I'm definitely out of shape. There's the path. This order might lead me closer to the Berserk Pokemon. Hmm. Is this the entrance to the storage area? If so, I need to fix the elevator in there. But first, I gotta find the Berserk Pokemon. Really now? Oh, buddy. Who are they? Oh nah. Hell no. What are they up to? Hell no. Oh shit. I know them. Wait, hold on. Oh shit. Oh shit. Who's there? Oh boy. Excuse me, what are you doing here? Who, us? Just gathering bamboo shoots. 
It sure doesn't look that way. Yep. <laughs> All right, I shut him up. Let's go. Oh no! They shot Ara at this Pokemon, and now it's completely berserk. Shit. Pikachu, this way. Oh freaking hell! Pikachu! What are you doing? Why are you st still standing there? What's up? Run for it, Pikachu! A little bit of bus mashing. Let's don't hell it long. Fuck! <laughs> well, they fell. <laughs> oh, not good. Oh, that was it. Pikachu. Pikachu, wake up! Huh? <laughs> Phew, you're awake! Ah, uh, yeah, Tim. Ah, uh, guess I fell asleep. Hey, Pikachu, this isn't the this isn't the first time that's happened. Maybe you should get yourself checked out. Whoa, whoa! I do suffer for a bit. And you're acting like I'm about to kill over or something? That's not what I meant, but... Okay, sorry. That's fine. Anyway, I just remembered. I've been here before, a long time ago. Huh? What do you mean? You just remember mm -hmm. this place? What do you remember, Pikachu? I came all the way to Bamboo Borough after hearing about the Berserk Pokemon. While I was here, I borrowed the gate key from the charcoal shopmaster. I battled a Laron and, uh... Oh yeah, the bamboo forest is also where Perry and I first met. Takes me back. You borrowed a key and met my dad? Hey, did something happen to Pikachu? He fainted earlier, but now he's acting like nothing's wrong. Uh, yeah, he's fine, I, I think. Who? Me? Never been better. I've got a few more questions. Mm -hmm. What do you mean you borrowed the key to the gate? I came to this town because I heard that a Pokemon had gone berserk in the bamboo forest. But I couldn't get into the forest to investigate like I wanted because the gate was clocked. The charcoal shop master had the key, but man was he stubborn. Getting him to lend it to me was no small feat. True. You borrowed the key from the charcoal shop master? Yeah, <clears throat> in exchange for fixing the elevator. I guess you do need a key to open this gate, but um mm -hmm. Did you really battle a Laron last time you were here? Yep, battled it twice in the bamboo forest. Once when I saved Pancham and then again when I saved Harry. That Laron did not know when to quit it, just kept coming at us, but I hit it with my electric type moves. Uh, 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 what? Wait, 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 wait. Does the memories of Harry and the Pikachu mix up together? That could explain this weird uh, sayings of him. <clears throat> Pikachu used his electric type moves? Maybe he could still use them back then. Mm -hmm. So, so about the first time you, you, you met Dad. That was back when I was investigating the bamboo forest. I'd found some footprints. And then I crossed the river to get into the bamboo forest. And wound up living there for a while. 
Eh? Okay, I'm... It's completely confusing now, right now. When I saw Harry, I jumped out because I thought he was dangerous. Mm hmm. Hmm, I get what... I get that's where you two met, but... Huh? I'm not quite sure I can make sense of your story. Seems like a lot happened with Pikachu and Dad first met. But some of these pieces aren't quite fitting together. I'll have to organize all this information. Something about Pikachu's story doesn't add up. I wonder if he's mixing up his dreams with reality. He'd probably get mad if I suggested that though. I've gotta clarify some things with him after he settles down. For now, I'll go over what Pikachu said and try to figure out which part of the story doesn't add up. Begin deducing. Oh. Pikachu's story seems to contradict itself. Let me think this through and figure out which part of his story doesn't add up. Hmm. Yep, that one. <clears throat> If I remember correctly, Pikachu said he met Dad in the Bamboo Forest. Since Pikachu entered the Bamboo Forest by crossing a river, Dad had to have been the one who used the key to open the gate. Maybe he heard that story from Dad, got the details mixed up and thinks he's the one who got the key. That's true. Are you sure you're alright, Pikachu? Shouldn't you stay behind and get some rest? You're worried too much, Tim. Let's help Jessica first, then ask questions later. As long as we stick with Jessica, we'll be able to protect her if those people who are after her decide to show up. Good call. Alright, Pikachu, let's go. Yeah. Yes. Is Pikachu going to be okay? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, he's all good now. Thanks for checking in. Yes. Let me know right, right away if Pikachu starts feeling ill again. Will do, thank you. <laughs> well then, let's head inside the bamboo forest. Okie dokie, let's see what's going on. Yes. I want to gather ingredients for our daily specials first. Would that be alright? Yeah, on the hunt for pizza ingredients. Sounds exciting. Our pizza is made from ingredients found in the bamboo forest. My manager takes the freshness of our product very seriously. Bamboo Borough's just full of fox who are dedicated to their craft. So, Tim and Pikachu, could you two find me an herb and an egg? Sure thing. Rachel and I will go look for mushrooms and... Huh? What's wrong? Look, Rachel, an energy root, and it's big. Oh, why do you sound so excited? Because they, they are really hard to find. I usually have to ask the herbal remedy shop for them. I guess this one got pushed by this boulder and popped out. Could you give me a hand, Rachel? It must be a pretty rare find if Jessica is this fired up about it. In that case, we can go look for the mushrooms too. Thank you, Tim. Though, you might not find any not only are they out of season, but mushroom picking is very popular right now. I'll keep that in mind, okay Pikachu? Let's go! So, we just gotta find an herb, an egg and some mushrooms, right? A perfect chance for this great detective to flex his searching muscles. Tim! Over here! Hey Tim, I don't know if it's the ambiance or the smell of bamboo. But just being here is making me feel really calm and relaxed. I wonder why. Hmm. Egg, herb, mushroom, uh, egg, herb, and mushrooms. Okay. 
Crack. <laughs> Is this Pokemon okay? It looks so sad. It's a Draglock. Something must be bothering it. What's wrong, Draglock? Drag. What? The Dreepy, the Dreepy just keep on your hat and careful went missing. Did you see on? Did you say on its head? Yeah, Draglock carry Pokemon called Dreepy around on their hats. Where did Dreepy go missing? Drag. Inside the Bamboo Forest, huh? Drag. Of course, we'll let you know if we find Drippy. Yeah, we will. Oops, okay. We're now in the Bamboo Forest. Hey Pikachu, this thing looks awfully familiar. What is it? Fungus! Fungus! <laughs> Watch out for its spores. Wow! Oh, it's a fungus! <laughs> I think we've got a fungus among us, get it? What's with that look, Tim? Blurting out whatever pops into my head is how I keep my mind sharp as a tech. Really? You think having no filter keeps your mind sharp? No, if you're just loosened up a bit, you'd be that much closer to being a great detective like me. Foo? Look now, you've gone and confused it. Sorry, sorry. Okay, Fungus, let's chat. Foon, Foon! Hey! We're looking for mushrooms. Any idea where we can find some? Foon! Oh, mushrooms are in short supply this time of year. Foon, Foon! But its friend Paris might know where to get some. Paras? Oh, thanks, we go ask it. Fungus! Funga! It says it sees Jessica all the time and she's always been kind to the Pokemon around here. Sounds like Fungus thinks very highly of her. Okie dokie. Hey, you two, got a minute? Huh? Uh, can I help you? Oh, sorry if I stalled you. I'm a Pokemon researcher. There's supposed to be a very rare Pokemon that lives in this bamboo forest. I've been walking around searching for it for so long that my legs are, legs are starting to go numb. And I still can't seem to find it. Sorry, guys and girls. I have to send it my phone. So that doesn't vibrate. Vibrate. What sort of rare Pokemon? A Dunsparce. At the male side of a human, it digs a hole as quickly as it can and burrows itself away. Doesn't sound fond of humans. Maybe it's shy. If you ever come across a Duns Dunsparce, please let me know. I'd give anything to see it for myself. Sure, we'll let you know if you spot one. Thanks. Hope you'll get back with some good news. Oh my goodness. So many things to do and so less time. Yeah. A Yampa. <sighs> Yamp! This Yampa sounds a little low energy. Maybe it's upset about something. Let's ask. Hey, Ampa. Something wrong? Yep, yep. What? You're so hungry and you can't move? Then why not rustle up something to eat in the bamboo forest? Yeah, there's a plenty of food here. Yep. Oh, you're from this city. So the food here isn't suited to your taste? Kinda spoiled, huh? I probably lived a sheltered life in this city. Hmm? What should we do? I guess we could go back to town and find something you'd like. Yamp! You want some soft melted cheese? Ah, you're awful picky. 
Para. Paras. Para, para. Time to figure out Paras has mushrooms growing on its back. Uh, are those things edible? Para, para, paras. If we're looking for mushrooms, Paras says, we're welcome to take some. Is that even safe? Para, para. Now those are some jumbo sized mushrooms. Guess we had, he had some tucked away for a rainy day. For a moment I was worried he was gonna give us the mushrooms off his back. Thanks, Paras. The pizzeria manager can make his pizza without those mushrooms. Hehehe. <laughs> Looks like my dear Paras gave you some mushrooms. They go quite nicely on pizza. You should try it. Th thanks for the tip. Now I want some too. Let's go get a slice, Paras. Par Paras. <laughs> Must be one heck of a pie. Glad we could find the mushroom spot. Tim, do you hear that? Huh? I didn't hear anything. Ah, uh, must have been on my imagination. It keeps looking around the bamboo forest. Maybe it's on patrol. I just hear the strange noise. You hear it too? I think the sound came from the cliff over there. Let's go. Hmm? Hey, little mm -hmm. boy. Hey there, do you need help finding something? I'm okay. It takes a special technique to get the stuff I'm looking for anyway. Oh, really? What is it you're going, trying to find? Oval stones, energy roots, bug Pokemon, husks, stuff like that. What's a strange list of things for a kid? Mm -hmm. Hmm. A dead end. Pikachu, something's coming out of the ground. Sparse bar. Then sparse. Sparse. Now here's a Pokemon I've never met. Who are you? Aha! Uh -huh. I'm glad I decided to follow you too. So the rumors were true. They they are really the Dunsparce living here. Sparse! So you're Dunsparce. You look pretty shaken up. Um what are you playing on going doing now? What what are you playing on doing now? I am going to present my findings and tell the whole world that Dunsparce lives here. My once in a lifetime discovery is going to make me famous and put us a little neighborhood on the map. I can see it now. Bamboo Borough, global tourist destination, home of the elusive Duns Dunsparce. Oh, there, if you go broadcasting Dunsparce's whereabouts like that, it's not gonna wanna live here anymore. Sparse! Seems to me like Don Sparse wants to live an, a quiet life. I know you're excited to share this with everyone, but have you consi considered not doing that? Huh? A discovery like this is... Like this only comes up once in a lifetime. There's no way I'm letting it, it slip through my fingers. Sparse. And once I present my findings, researchers the world over will know my name. I'll become an overnight celebrity. Sparse. Have you even considered how Dunsparce might feel? Just like a look at that face. Sparse. Wow, oh Dunsparce, I can't see the sadness in your eyes. Sparse. Alright, I'm sorry for frightening you, Dunsparce. I'll keep this discovery to myself. I'm a researcher, after all. My duty is to preserve your quiet lifestyle, not turn it upside down. Sparse? Don't worry, Don Sparse, you're safe now. Tim! Over here! So this is a Dunsparce. 
I hear it's a pretty rare Pokemon. Splog. <laughs> it's a fast one. Well, Pikachu. Seems like you can't hold up to Dunsparce. After all. Done. Done. Sparse. Sorry for all that commotion earlier. We didn't mean to startle you. <clears throat> okay. Dead end. Let's go back. Whoa. Let's not let's not get distracted. We should hurry up, gather our ingredients and head back to Jessica. Okay, egg, mushroom, egg and herb. Surfetched! <laughs> Surfetched! Fetched! Wow, that's quite a long plant this Pokemon is holding. That's a Surfetched. It battles using its leak as a third and leaf as a shield. Fetched! Apparently, it's traveling all over the world to hone its skills. To, ho to hone its skills. Oh, yeah? I feel like we've met a Pokemon who said something similar before. Mm hmm. Hmm. But where do. F hmm? Play JP! 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 <laughs> oh, such a cute Pokemon! What the heck? Dreep! Look, it's the missing JP! Dreep, Dreep! You are exploring the bamboo forest. Exploration's fun and all, but Draglog's been worried sick about you. Why don't you take a break and check back in with Draglog? Drapey? You wanna go back, but you but you don't know where Draglog is? Oh, I guess it's lost after all. Draglog is waiting for you back by the clearing near the entrance to the forest. Dreep! Will it find its way home okay? I'm worried too. Let's follow it back. Draglog. You must be relieved to have Drippy back. Looks like everything's back to normal now. Uh, don't ever worry about Draglog like that again. Drag. Trip. Huh? You wanna thank me by giving me a ride? Thanks, but I'll pass. I'm a little old for drag low rides. <laughs> that would have looked cute. <sighs> Come on, Pikachu. <laughs> oh. Knock doll. Knock. There's, there's Pokemon perched up there, watching over the bamboo forest, as if it's keeping an eye out of everything, out for every anything dangerous. No, no. We both clearly look suspicious, or so it says. What? We're just trying to conduct an investigation. No. Ah, uh, that explains it. A while back, an unfam unfamiliar Pokemon went berserk around here. Since then, it's been trying to alert everyone to any potential dangerous dangers here. It sees a dangerous Pokemon. Huh? We should be careful ourselves. Not Oh yeah, Tim. Is this the Pokemon the quiz professor was talking about? Yeah, it's perfect match. Okay, let's give our answer next time we see her. Oh, it's a Mimikyu. Hey there. <laughs> Q -Q. What's got you looking so down in the dumps? You'll take a toxic to the face or something. Is something wrong with it? Q -Q -Q. I was taking a walk around the storage around an area at the f far end of the bamboo forest. Then suddenly an, unf an unfamiliar Pokemon rushed out and tried to attack it. Oh man, is it okay? It escaped right away so it wasn't hurt. But it's this guy's got busted. Q, Q, Q. Uh, 
Unfortunately, it's, it's this guy's is super difficult to fix, and that's why it's feeling so crestfallen. That's so sad. Is there anything we can do to help? Q! It says a mirror would help. Okay, we'll go look for a mirror, so just wait right here. Such a long list still. Hmm? Something's moving in this bush. Let me take a look. A chancy. Chance encounter bring happy brings happiness. Hey, it's a chancy. Chance! Don't you think that egg at solding would make a perfect pizza ingredient? Yeah, I'm sure Jessica would be thrilled if we brought with her one of Chance's eggs. Chance, she chance, chance! It says it'll give us one. Aren't you glad we chanced chain chance chanced upon a chancy? Chance upon a chancy? Pikachu, that's one of the worst dad jokes I've ever heard. <laughs> hey! For once the pun was not intended. And see? Chan Chancy? It says that egg should be just what Jessica is looking for. So it knows Jessica? Chancy! Yep, they see each other in the forest all the time. In that case, maybe we can ask it some questions. Chancy, chance. It says that Pokemon like to come to the bamboo forest because of its abundant nature. The water and air here are so fresh and clean. It never wants to leave this place. Sounds like a comfortable home for these Pokemon. Yep, must be the same for Jessica too. Chancy, Jessica's hard worker who likes to put others first. Yeah, that tracks. Chance, chance! Couldn't agree more, Chancey. Someone like Jessica does deserve to be happy. I think I understand that feeling. Me too. If you work, if you work hard, you deserve, you deserve all the great things that come with it. Hmm. Oh, there are some berries growing on this tree. These are nana berries. We saw these at the ruins too. How do they taste again? I already know. Why don't you why don't you try one, Tim? Okay. Oh, wow, it's really sweet. Right, let's bring one to Skvo Skvovet. Yeah, I hope Skvovet likes it. Oh. Hmm, I think I just saw something sparkle. Oh yeah, let me see. Oh, what a pretty brute. Maybe it's the one Meowth was looking for. It has to be. Let's bring it over when we get a chance. This bush looks this bush looks like it's swaying, which means there must be a Pokemon inside. Shift! It's a shift tree. I knew they live in wooded areas, but I didn't know that includes bamboo forests. It looks like it's this shift tree is holding something. Let's see what it has to say. Have shift tree. We're looking for some pizza ingredients. Shift! We are not the human who normally comes to see you, but you'll give it to us anyway. I wonder if that human is Jessica. It gave me an herb. Mmm, it smells so good. Thanks, Chef Tree. Perfect. Okay, we've got our, gathered our ingredients. Let's bring them to Jessica. <laughs> Chef. It's asking how the human who normally comes to visit is doing. Just as I thought, it must know Jessica. Chef. She comes, she comes here a lot to collect herbs, so they always share some with her. How about we ask it some questions? <laughs> Chef. It, sa it says the bamboo forest felt empty and lonely back then when the berserk Pokemon appeared. It must be referring to the incident. Two years back, seeing the bamboo forest now, it's hard to imagine it is it as such a bleak place. Yeah, the people and Pokemon seem plenty pl plenty happy to be here now. Shift. Yeah, I'm thinking that sounds pretty. Wait, what? Shift. Did you just use your special powers to read my mind? What's wrong, Pikachu? What did Shift say? 
It asked if, it, if I was gonna lie down and take a nap here. Shifty must have been reading my mind. <laughs> Lay down and take a nap! Pikachu! No! You've got to be kidding me! Doesn't take a mind reader to guess what that, that's what you were thinking? Doesn't this peaceful setting make you want to doze off too? Let's both take a nap after we wrap up here. Hey, we didn't come here to relax. <laughs> Pikachu and his, uh, his, one, his, and his uh, craving for sleep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Shift. Apparently, Jessica collects pizza ingredients whenever she comes to the bamboo forest. I guess she really is a hard worker. Shift. Jessica treats the Pokemon of the Bamboo Forest with respect because she believes everyone here, humans and Pokemon, should live in harmony. So Shiftry shows its appreciation by giving her, the, her, giving her herbs. Living in harmony, huh? Okay, let's look around here a bit. Here's a bridge. We've got all our, our, all our ingredients. Let's back, get back to Jessica. Hmm. Uh, okay. Pikachu, you coming? Come on, Pikachu. We have to go. Can we go along here? Huh? Huh? Something about this place feels familiar. Did you find something, Pikachu? Ah, uh, it's probably nothing. You sure? You okay, Pikachu? Do you want to rest? Nah, don't worry about me. Looks like there isn't anything for us to find here. Hmm. You sure about that, Pikachu? You seem not that okay. <laughs> it's all thanks to that bull that wasn't here yesterday. Are you talking about the energy route? Yes, I think this fallen boulder caused the energy root to pop out. That makes sense. The boulder had lodged deep enough in the ground that I doubt it rolled here on its own. I probably landed here after a Pokemon used a move or threw it in a display of strength. Or something like that. Yes. We found all the ingredients, Jessica. Oh, you even found the mushrooms. Thank you, thanks you two. Not bad, We've, we got our energy root too. Wow, that's one big root. Thank you everyone. Sorry for all the trouble, I'm sure you came here to have fun. It's not a, <clears throat> it's not a problem and we did have fun. The Pokemon here are interesting to talk to. They are different from the ones in the other parts of Rhyme City. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. Glad to hear that. Why don't we why don't we rest a bit and then head to the car call kiln? Before we do that, Jessica, there's something I'd like you to look at. Oh, me? What do you want to show me? Jessica, do you remember when this photo was taken? Oh yes, this brings back memories. We took that photo together to celebrate the beginning of our project. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. What project was that? This, that was about two years ago. Rhyme City had formed a partnership with the lab I was working at. 
<clears throat> oh, by lab, I mean the Pokemon Unity lab. Anyway, that's where we launched our project to create a better way for humans and Pokemon to coexist. The people in this photo were the, were, were the project's key members at the time. You don't say. I remember now, Mama mentioned that when the three of us were having dinner as a family. She was so happy when she announced that she and Papa were going to be working on a project together. I knew it was an exciting thing for, when that, for them at the time, but I had no idea it was that, bi that big of a deal. Mama and I used to chat about Pokemon, but she never discussed the de details of her job. I didn't know you were part of it too, Jessica, and as one of the main contributors. Tim, why don't do you have this photo? Better not tell you found it at a police station. We don't want to make her worry. Um, well, it's part of an assignment for one of our college courses. We were asked to write a report about the mayor. And we found this photo while looking at Papa's desk, right, Tim? Uh, right. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a challenging assignment. Phew, safe by Rachel's quick thinking. <laughs> True. Um, can I ask you about the others in the photo? Sure, I don't mind. Sorry if these questions end up killing the peaceful wife. <sighs> so, you were working at the Pokemon Unity Lab. Does that mean you were a researcher? Yes, I was researching Pokemon behavior. Did you meet Mama through the project? No, your mother and I were in a different in different departments. Initially, I first learned who Emma was from a paper she published. So you were introduced to Rachel's mom through her research. That's right. Emma envisioned a future where humans and Pokémon could communicate. Her paper really was revolu revolutionary. Our colleagues had nothing but praise for it. I was awestruck by it, too, of course. I went straight to her after reading it. We talked about her, her paper, her, her research, all kinds of things. That's when I decided I'd do whatever I could to help Emma. I didn't know you. her work was that brought... Uh, there was that was what brought you together. Yes, the entire project's launch was based on her paper. Sounds like Emma's... A paper about building a new feature, future for Rhyme City really changed for your life. I don't even need to read Emma's paper to know that. Just look at how Jessica's beaming right now. Um. I assume Mayor, My Mayor Myers is in this photo because of the lab's partnership with Rhyme City. Yes, that's right. We were able to focus on our research thanks to his support. He and Emma never let the outside relationship affect their work. But I remember they talk about Pokemon for hours. They always supported and understood each other. It sounds like Mayor Myers has been thinking about human Pokemon coexistence for a long time. Absolutely, the project never could have launched without this com without this contributions. I see. And Mr. Murloc was part of this project too. You know, you know him? We ran into him in the city yesterday. He gave me the creeps. Even Tim was surprised by how overbearing he was. He plucked some Pikachu's spur and ran some tests on it. That sounds like something he'd do. He's a brilliant scientist, sure. But he also thinks he's the smartest person in the mu any room he's in. And the only thing he will lose in his research. I didn't really like him, to be honest. Wow, Jessica, I've never heard you say that about, about anyone. The way he talked about Pokemon, he had such obvious contempt for them. He didn't even try to hide it. He also used the lab for his pet projects, even though it was a public research facility. Uh, a public research facility. No one knows that knew exactly what he was researching. But the quality of his work was always so impeccable that, pe that people looked the other way. Mm -hmm. um. I assume the woman next to you in this photo is Rachel's mother, Emma. 
Jessica, what was Mama like the, at the lab? I'd love to know. Emma had two great loves, her family and Pokemon. Everyone liked and uh, admired her. A lot of us worked extra hard just because we, wa we wanted to impress her. I really looked up to her myself and then... You don't have to talk about anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. And don't worry about me either. Okay. The project was going well and moral was high overall. But then the R incident happened and... Emma, she... She was one of the casualti casualties. Rachel. So that's what happened. I should have known. I guess Tim already knew. After the accident, the project was cancelled. I heard the lab's been shut down too. And that's why you're in Bamboo Borough now? That's right, I was nervous when I first came here. But everyone has been very kind to me. I'm enjoying myself here now. Ooh. Hey. Thanks, Je <clears throat> Thanks, Jessica. We were able to gather information about everyone in the photo. We even learned about the lab and the research they were doing. We still don't know why Unitas was targeting Jessica. But we haven't seen anyone suspicious so far. Now that Butler's behind bars, I think it's safe to say that Jessica is, l is, no, Jessica is no longer a target. Thank you, Jessica. We've learned a lot today. I'm so glad I got to hear about everything, too. I'm not sure if anything I said was helpful. Trust me, it's you. It's a huge help. I'm sure our, rep our report will turn out great thanks to you. And by report, you mean detective work, right, Tim? What? Oh, um, uh... <sighs> Couldn't quite stick the landing, huh? You'll get the hang of this eventually, Tim. You're good at telling when people are lying, but not so much at telling lies yourself, am I right? <laughs> I'm sorry, Jessica. Yeah, me too. It's alright, I could I could tell something was off from the questions you were asking, but the weirdness of this photo confirmed it. Huh? Did you think I wouldn't notice the red circle drawn around my face? Yikes! We forgot about, we forgot about that. I don't get why, but it seems like you're worried about me. I'm doing okay, nothing unusual has been going on either. Making Jessica worry is exactly what I wanted to avoid. Guess I shouldn't rest on my laurels either. <clears throat> so uh, Jessica, should we head over to the charcoal kill now uh, soon? Yes, we should. Is there anything else you need to do? If so, I can wait until you finish up. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay. Okay. We go to Bamboo Borough. Talk to uh, the people there. And then we go to the Karkol Kiln. So, you first. So, Detective, have you figured out the answer? <laughs> Yes, it's knocked all, isn't it? Correct, with your sharp eye for detail, it's no surprise you got that right. Cano! Knocked all can see in the dark as long as there's the tiniest amount of light. It uses that keen eyesight to sneak up on its prey from above. Once knocked all's got a target, there's no escape. Take care not to do anything suspicious or else it might peck at you. Okay, we'll be careful. Getting pecked by the sharp beak is definitely at the bottom of my to-do list. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now it's the final stretch. Here's your last question. What agile Pokemon has leaves growing on, the, on its arms and head? Kano! Based on a description, I'd bet it's a Pokemon living in the bamboo forest. Yeah, maybe its body is green too. Better keep your eyes peeled, Tim. Let me know when you find it. Alright, first that. Then we have to do something. Squobert. Squo! Hey Squobert, we've got something for you. 
It's a nano berry. We found it by the pond of the bam bo bamboo forest. Squirrel? Try it. It's really sweet. Squirrel, squirrel it! See? Nice and sweet, right? It seems to like the berry. Squirrel, squirrel! Next time you want to satisfy that sweet tooth of yours. You can't find more by the pond in the bamboo forest. Just don't go overboard. Done and done. Perfect. Para. Para, para. Thanks, Paros. The pizzeria manager can't make the, his pizza without those mushrooms. It's my dear Paros ever so nice. Great. It sure is. It even shared some mushrooms with us. <laughs> I'm so excited to try the daily special. Yes. Hey there, welcome to Bamboo Bora Pizza or Pizzeria. What can I get you? Oh, uh, I'm not actually here for pizza, but is there any chance I could just buy some cheese? What an interesting request. Mind if I ask why? There's a hungry yamper in the bamboo forest. I thought it might like some cheese from your pizzeria. Say no more, I'd love to help you out. Here you go. Whoa, that's a, that's a whole lot of cheese, thank you. Personally, I'd rather be serving it a, a piping hot pizza fresh out of the oven. But if cheese is what it craves, I am happy to oblige. Right on to him. Let's take this food to Yamper. Meow. Meow. Here you go. This is the brooch you were looking for, isn't it? Meow. Careful not to lose it again. Meow. That will be all. That's it. Not even a thank you. It really is prideful. Come to think of it, why did Meowth even have a brooch to begin with? Don't tell me it was stolen from the ceramics shop. Meow. None of our business. Of our business, it says. I don't think. I don't think we'll get a straight answer from it. Let's try asking someone who works there. Welcome. How about a souvenir to remember your trip? Excuse me. Actually, uh, you happen to have any mirrors? Preferably a full-length one, if possible. We have some hand mirrors. Not and but nothing full length. Oh, thanks anyway. It's a real shame, though. I was really hoping to have helped Mimikyu with his, with its gutless guys. Mimikyu, do you say? If you don't mind, may I ask you why you're looking for a mirror? Well, you see. Ah, uh, now I understand the situation. Feel free to borrow the shop's display mirror. Are you sure that's alright? Certainly, I'll ask Mimikyu for it back later. Thank you. Let's take it to Mimikyu right away. Nope. The, the boss hurt his back. Ah, oh, jeez, I should really check up on him, but... Excuse me? What's wrong? He gets real angry when I stop in the middle of working. A senior apprentice is at the charcoal kiln, and I gotta finish up my war own work. Seems like a difficult situation. Ah, uh, I'll have to... I'll just have to do my work quickly, but I'll still be as though rough as ever. Ah, uh, too bad. That's too bad. Hi, hi there. Are you looking for anything in particular? Mm -hmm. Not really. Actually, I wanted to ask you about that Meowth over there. Do you know anything about that pretty brute it always has? Oh, that. I gave it to him as a gift. Uh, a gift? Oh, wait. Are you Meow Meowth's partner? Yes, I am. I've traveled all over the world buying pieces to sell my shop. I met Meowth during my travels in the Alola region. He seemed quite enam enamored by the brooch I was wearing at the time. We ended up growing thick as thieves and decided to live together. That explains what an, uh, that what an Alolan po Pokemon is doing here. You don't see much of him in this neck of the woods. 
<clears throat> he may seem a little standoffish, but he's actually quite kind. Even the helps out around the shop. Really? How nice of him. I can't imagine that Meowth lifting a paw to help anyone. That just goes to show how special the bond is between Pokemon and their partners. He's treasured the booch since the day we met. Ah, that reminds me, I haven't seen him with it in a while. In a, quite a while. Oh dear, I hope he hasn't lost it. We actually found his boot in the bamboo forest and gave it back to him. Is that so? He must be thrilled that he found it. He is shy and has trouble showing his appreciation. So allow me to express my gratitude on his behalf. Thanks for your help. Whoa, who would have guessed that Meowth has such a kind partner. He's lucky to have her. <clears throat> Let's scratch off the list. Ah, great, good. Um, what do we have? Mimikyu, Yamper, Chris Professor, and Blossom. <laughs> ah, now I remember. You remind me of someone I met once. Really? Who? This electrician detective. Fellow who moss eyed into our the neighborhood a few years back. Real skilled sort. An electrician detective? What in the world is that? He was a brilliant detective. Solved the berserk Pokemon problem going on back then. Excellent electrician too. All the way I used to break down all the time for he fix it up. Elevator's been running without any hiccup without any hiccups ever since. All thanks to that electrician detective. Whoever he was, it sounds like he really knew his stuff. I can't even begin to imagine what this guy must have looked like. You're an electrician detective too, yeah? I can tell by that Pikachu, Pikachu you got by his side. I'm a detective, so you're half right. Well, if you ever meet the fella, please let him know. Bamboo Borough and all its residents are grateful for everything you did. Mm hmm. Come on, Pikachu. I need to do the rest of the stuff. First the answer for the quiz professor and then Mimikyu and the rest. I don't even know where the Blossom is. The last one. <laughs> Shift. It's asking how the human who normally comes to visit is doing. Just as I thought, it must don't know Jessica. Shift. She comes here a lot to col she comes here a lot to collect herbs. So it always shares come some with her. How about we ask it some questions? Hmm. Okay, it's not shift tree. Okay, Wampa. Yampa here. Yeah. Thanks for waiting, Wampa. Yeah, but here's a cheesy one. That's too bad. Yeah. Easy there. There's plenty of cheese. No need to gobble it up so fast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yampa scuffed it all down in one go. Yamp! You've never tasted cheese this delicious? Glad to hear it, and I'm sure the pizzeria's manager would be thankful for the positive review. Yamp! You want more? Don't be so glutinous. Yamp, yamp! <clears throat> and gun it go. It ran full sprint back to town. I guess we're done here then. Scratch it off the list. Next is Mimikyu, I guess. But first... Whoa. Grow! Hmm, what's that? What's? Grow! You came out onto this path because you had some noise? What are you doing here? Grow! Apparently it's patrolling the bamboo forest to protect the weaker Pokemon. Sounds like it has a strong sense of responsibility. Draw! It's got a feeling 
It's got a feeling, ba feeling something bad is gonna happen today. What? You don't really think? Maybe it's the kind of instinct only wild Pokemon have. Groff! If something does happen, I'm glad you are here to take care of the Pokemon. Say, remember the Pokemon from the Quiz Professor's question? The agile one that has leaves growing on its arms and head? Do you think she might have been talking about Grovile? Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's go tell her. Nope, not yet. We have to go to Mimikyu first. Because Mimikyu also needs something. Okay, wrong way. Back to the main way and then... Ah, uh, yes. True. I don't want it to run into that way. <clears throat> ah! Pawn! Hey, don't we know this Pawnyard? Uh, it's the Pawnyard we met while we were working on the stone jewel case. What are you doing out here all, 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 of all places? Pawn! Your journey to Warrior Hood led you all the way here? Pawn! And more importantly, you want us to look at this, at this, just uh, like a cup, cut up stock of bamboo to me. Pawn! Whoa, it suddenly got really angry. Fool! Fool, the sharpness of the cross section, the beauty of the cut, none but the master of the blade could have accomplished such a feat. And only a warrior would be able to appreciate it, Ponyard says. I guess it takes a real ca con con huh? Conne connoisseur, connoisseur, to recognize when something when something's done ma masterfully. Pawn. It thinks a Pokemon must have cut it with a move. Bring me to the slice of bamboo, it says. Pawn. And it's serious about this request. That is serious. If it's that important to pawn yet, let's help it out. Yeah, after all, a meeting here again must mean something, right? Hang tight, Ponyard. We'll find that Pokemon for you. Pawn! So many Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Thanks for waiting, Mimikyu. Would this mirror work for you? Q -Q. Like a charm, like a charm, it says. Q -Q. But it's too embarrassed to fix its disguise in front of us. Then we'll turn around and keep our backs to you. Just let us know when you're done. Q. <laughs> Q Q. Hey, it looks all fixed up. I'm glad you're okay now, Mimi Q. Q. That's fixed. There, that's uh, as well. Okay. Three are left. Okay, no, 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 wait. Okay, Ponyard. I think it's Grovile. Grov. Hmm, what? Grov. Okay, no, 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 no. Nah, I already had that one. <sighs> okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Fetched. That's that that league is so long. It almost looks like a third. That's right. Sir Fetch uses them in battle as weapons. Which can only mean one thing. Hey, Sir Fetched, you've been cutting up any bamboo around here recently? Fetched. Hey, I've sliced a few stocks as part of your training. I knew it. So, Sir Fetched is the Pokemon that Ponyard's been looking for. Now that we know, we better tell Ponyard pronto. Pawn! Ponyard says this one's aura has a warrior's edge. At last I have found the slice of bamboo. I'm glad we were able to find it. Pawn! Fetched! Pawn! 
What are they talking about? Ponyard, Ponyard wants to further hone its skills by becoming Surfetch to apprentice. Sir! Surfetch says, Alas, I got, cannot take you under my wing, for I am not yet a full fledged knight yet myself. Nevertheless, Trout, be an honor to hone our skills together as fellow warriors in training. Pawn! Sounds like they were able to come to an agreement. Pawn! Apparently, Pawnyard and Surfetch are gonna head out on the path of the railway together. It's thanking us for introducing them to each other. No trouble at all. Good luck to you both. Pawn! Fetched. Good. That one scratched off the list. Off, off they go. I hope they can become the skilled Pokemon they've always wanted to be. Yeah. Bing. Okay, two are left. The Blossom and the Quiz Professor. Hmm. But where are the Blossoms? Whoa. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, wait. First, the Quiz Professor. Then, the Blossom. But where? Where do we find the Blossom, the last one? Weird. Weird! Okay. Okay, Chris, Pro Chris Professor. Hi, Detective. Are you ready to give me an answer? <laughs> yeah, the answer's grow a while. Typical detective. That's correct. Can-Canu! Groval can leap into motion instanta instantaneously. It leaps from stalk to stalk in the bamboo forest until it spots prey, then Groval leaps in right at it. That's how Groval battles, by using its environment to its advantage. Sounds like the last Pokemon you'd want for an, an enemy in a place like the bamboo forest. The Groval we saw here seemed very kind though. Well, that's the end of our fun quiz session, quiz sessions. But it would be a shame if you didn't continue putting your sharp eye for detail to good use. Do you want to research Pokemon with me full time? What do you say? I'm flattered, but I've already got my hands full with my detective work. And I don't know how I feel about quizzing strangers on the street. That's a shame. Well, I hope to see you around anyway. Kanu! Let's scratched off the list as well. Okay. Last but not least, the Blossom thing. Where could the last one be? Awesome. Samsung! Some. You we'll just wait here, we'll find your friends. Okay, um... But where could the last one be? Ah, Sam! Oh, Belasam, there you are. Your friends are waiting for you at the usual spot. Sam? I lost track of time playing with that old man. They're waiting for you, so hurry on over there. Sam, Sam! Is, th is that all of them? Yeah, their performance should be starting now. Then let's go watch. Sam! Looks like it just started. Sam Sam! They are thanking us and telling us to enjoy the show. Oh, we will. They look so pretty. It's scratched off the list as well. And there we go. All of them are scratched. Talk to Jessica when you're ready. That's the next thing we're doing.
Yes. Were you able to finish up everything, Tim? Yes. Yes. Well then, let's hope, head over to the charcoal kiln. You'll see it right after crossing the bridge up ahead. This place. I'm sure of it. Hey, where are you going? Is everything all right, Tim? <sighs> you two go on ahead. We'll catch up with you. Oh. Yep, no mistake in it. What's going on, Pikachu? I knew this was the place! I see. How did I... How did it take me so long to realize? This place hasn't changed one bit since then. Did you remember something again? This is where I was protecting the injured, injured Pancham. When I tried to get a closer look at Pancham, I met Pikachu. I mean, I met Harry. What? So this is where you and Dad met? Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, sure thing. You mentioned before that you met Dad in the Bamboo Forest. Is this, is this exactly where it happened? Yep, this is where I was protecting Pancham while he was injured. Didn't leave this, his side once till he was all better. When I saw Harry come closer, I jumped out cause he looked suspicious. Pikachu jumping out like that really startled me. I was just trying to get a closer look at Pancham's injury. I guess I must have looked suspicious because the moment Pikachu saw me he tried to scare me off. Okay. Wait, hold on. Your story doesn't make sense. Huh? What part don't you, don't you get? You were protecting Pancham and then you startled yourself when you jumped out? What in the world? Mm -hmm. So you were protecting the injured Pancham. Yeah, Pancham got hurt by a berserk Pokemon. I tried to help by battling the berserk Pokemon, but it was too big. Took a look to, end to effort just to make it go away. It sounds like you helped out plenty. Anyway, I checked on Pancham's injury while Pikachu was trying to scare me off. Now let's get going again. I left Pikachu to watch over Pancham and then I ran all over the neighborhood in the bamboo forest to collect some medicine. And then I managed to heal Pancham, who knows what would have happened if I'd take any, taken any longer. Hey! Pikachu! What are you talking? So you were protecting Pikachu? So you were protecting Pancham? Then you got some medicine for Pancham? Was it you or Dad who got the medicine? It was me, of course. Hmm. Another story from Pikachu that doesn't make sense. He didn't even notice that some of the things he said don't add up. That's not like him. I'm kinda worried. <sighs> Something about Pikachu's story seems off again. I'll organize everything he said and figure out which part of his story sounded strange. Begin the juicing. Mm -hmm. I'll, sort th I'll sort through and think over what Pikachu said. He did when he helped Pierre Pancham. Oh! Pikachu said he stayed by Pancham's side the whole time and protected him. If that were the case, he wouldn't have been able to look for medicine at the same time. These two parts of Pikachu's story clearly contradict each other. I had a feeling something was off about his memory. I should have had him rest back in town. That was weird. <laughs> oh. Say, do you feel the ground shaking? Yeah, I do. Wait, huh? Feels like it's getting stronger. Oh shit. Something's coming! This is bad! Uh oh. Uh oh! Pangaro! Oh, 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 oh. Pikachu! Say, aren't you? Whoa! Whoa! 
I knew I recognized you! What? Hey, wait a wait a wait a Hey! Who would have thought we'd run into each other this like this? Gorr! Do you know each other? Do you two know each other? Yeah, he helped me out back at the police station. We escaped the detainment the room together too. Oh, I had no idea in a way that means you helped me out too. Thanks for all you did yesterday, Pangoro. Goro! So what brings you all So what brings you all the way out here? Goro! Alright, this is where you're from. Well, I have I hope you've been able to rest up Pangoro. Goro! was Rachel It sounds like she's in trouble. Let's go. Yeah. Whoa. That was uh one hell of a yell. What's with all these rocks? They weren't here earlier. They have to be connected to whatever happened to Rachel and Jess Jessica. Let's check them out, Tim. These, these rocks weren't here earlier. Let's examine them and see if we can figure out what happened. Hmm? These footprints are larger than Rachel and Jessica's. They might belong to a man. They are mixed in with Rachel and Jessica's footprints, and I doubt they were made by a tourist. Do you think someone was going after Jessica? We can't rule it out. That's a big Pokemon fo footprint. Judging by the death, the that Pokemon was pretty heavy too. It's not Pangaro's footprint, and I don't think it was made by any of the other Pokemon living in the foot bamboo forest either. If, I w if it was left by a Pokemon that came from elsewhere, that might be somehow related to these rocks. I think that's safe to assume. Hmm? Judging by the size of these footprints, I bet they are Rachel and Jessica's. It looks like they ran up ahead beyond the rocks. Knowing which way they went is a big help. These, these rocks weren't here earlier. It doesn't seem like they rolled down from anywhere either. Yeah, we know they haven't been here long. And they look different from the other rocks nearby. A Pokemon must have caused this. Perfect. That's all there is to see here. rocks weren't in our way, our job here would be so much easier. If only there was some way to move them. Oh, Pikachu. Huh. If these rocks weren't in our way, our job here would be so much easier. If only there was some way to move them. Hmm. We need to do something about these rocks, so we can find Rachel and Jessica. Hmm, we can either ask the people in town for help or find a Pokemon that can deal with them. A Pokemon, huh? I wonder if we could ask... Pangaro, yeah, should we go see him right now? Yes. There you are. Hey, Pangaro! Goro! Hey, Pangaro! Do you mind if I ask you for a lift? Thanks, bud. Yeah! Now we're unstoppable! Pangaro, let's go! Yeah, buddy! <laughs> 
Woohoo! The Woohoo! The view up here is amazing! There's a bunch of rocks blocking the path up ahead. Can you flex those muscles and clear the way for us, Pangaro? Sure thing. You want me to move one of these rocks, right? Can I go ahead and start and get started? Yes. Hey! Do you think do you think do you think, Pangoro? Right. Press the R button in front of a boulder to push it forward one space at a time. Push boulders that are blocking your way to move onward. Know that you can't pull boulders. You can't push boulders that are pressed against other boulders or what. If you get stuck, press the minus buttons to start over. Okay. The path's clear now. You've been a huge help, Pangaro. Ha! <laughs> Stuff like that's a piece of cake. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you both. So I'm gonna head over to the bridge. There's no time to lose. Rachel, Jessica, I'm on my way now. We should head that way too. Alright. Pikachu, look, what do we do? Yeah, I see it. Just give me a sec. Thanks, Pangoro. You can put me down now. Okay. <sighs> the bridge is broken. Those rocks must have smashed it. Hey, Tim. Look. Footprints. Rachel and Jessica's. They went across this bridge. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Jessica said the charcoal kiln is across the bridge, right? If we can just get there somehow, we might be able to find Rachel and Jessica. Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Hold on. Tim, there's another way to get to the other side of the bridge. It's through the storage area. Huh? Where is that? It's over the way up the hill. Guys and girls! We go there in the next part. Till then, I say, let's go back to the title screen. And say, see you in the next part video, whatever you call it. If you could like, subscribe, comment down below, ring the notification bell. See ya, yeah, Chipnator. Bye!